I'll still be winning I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me Hey guys, so we're back. We're back with a part two. And I wanted to ask Mr. Valentino a question because the other video was running kind of long. So we're going to have to do like a little two-part thing. You know what I'm saying? Because I need to get his advice on this other situation. Now, right now I'm just kind of getting his advice because I've never really had him on video. And I think it'll be very interesting about this. He knows a little bit about it. Okay. Crier and Love by Erica. Please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Oh. What do you think about that situation with them books? I need to know your honest opinion. The tour situation. Okay, we just gonna go into it. Okay, so first of all, you know what I'm saying? She was sitting up there saying that, you know, she was having a tour this place, that place, whatever, the books. We know that she didn't end up sending the books out. Um, Ended up having to be a refund. People basically got scammed. Okay, allegedly. Remember, guys, I got to say this. Anything in this video is alleged. Anything other than that, strictly our thoughts, opinion, perception, all that good stuff. Anyway, yeah. So, allegedly, you know, there's still people that didn't get their money back. There was one lady who okay, said... Okay, hold on, hold on for a minute. Okay, now, are you talking about both or just one? What do you mean? Crier and... Love by Erica or just no, we love by Erica. We got cry her baby daddy. So like we gonna leave, we gonna leave him out of this right okay, now. Okay, all right. He don't have nothing to do with this, but I think that Cryer knew the play. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, I think he knew the play. That's why he's been distancing himself from love by Erica. Mm -hmm. Also, he hasn't been in any videos with her. She actually posted a video. I don't know if y'all seen that. It was an old video of her and Cryer doing Would You Rather. That's another video me and you got to do because we did one before. We got to do another one. That one was a fun video. <laughs> but anyway, it wasn't a new video. It was an old video that she posted with him in it. That's weird. But anyway, so Cryer, this is all basically about Love by Erica though, right? Okay, so. So now, you know what I'm saying? She comes out and she don't even get on camera with her face. She just comes out and starts talking and stuff. And she says that, you know what I'm saying? Like what I was telling you, the tour is canceled. What tour? Shut your stupid ass up. You know what I'm saying? She was saying she had all these dates planned for Atlanta, Houston. Like all this stuff, Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? But before that, she was doing like all this stuff. Trying to say people scamming her. Like she was making all these freaking situations. Right? Building these situations up. To what I feel like, in my opinion, to where she was gonna try to use it as an excuse. She even went as far as saying that she was pregnant. Then she gonna say, "Oh no, I insinuated I was pregnant." Insinuated she was pregnant? Yeah, she came out with that, and I think that she was gonna run with that. But people knew she was lying, so she was like, "Oh no, 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 no." And the thing, how I know she was gonna run with it was because when people were telling her congratulations, uh -huh. she was hard in the comments. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Oh, like I have to say, thank yes. you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. This night. But it didn't pan out because nobody was going to fall for that bullshit. But anyway, so now look, no tour, no book, no nothing. People have been saying that she's been blocking them. They can't get in contact with her. They've been trying to get in contact with her, all this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. What's well, really funny, the people that still rock with her got an excuse for her. Like, going to sit there and say shit like, oh, all you got to do is just go to PayPal and get your money back. Like, why do you have to go through that? Like, why should you have to go through PayPal to get your money back? You know what I'm saying? PayPal didn't get on this platform, get in front of that camera, and ask you to buy their damn book. But, like, this is what people are saying. Are people still telling me shit? They still telling me shit. Talking about, um, yeah, she still got me blocked, whatever, whatever. She told me to go to PayPal. She said, like, she stated in the video. So she had a nerve to get smart with somebody and told them, like, I stated in the video... You, PayPal got your money. Clearly, they didn't. They didn't get the memo. So, what do you think? I'm sorry, I've been japping and japping, but I had to get it all out and get you up to date. 
Well, it's almost almost the same situation that the truth the truth in them was going through, where they was doing certain things to get views. She's sitting up here and she's got these people fooled, right? By telling them, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go on tour. Like she's some kind of big star. <laughs> like she's a movie star, you know? I'm going to go do a book signing and everything, you know? I got a book tour going on. My dates is this and this and that. And that's <laughs> Right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. You know, all right. And these people, I mean, she didn't sit up there and she scammed all these people. Allegedly. Told, allegedly. It has to be. Okay. I'm telling you, this girl's sneaky. It has to be alleged. <laughs> what would you do in a situation like that? If you had purchased a book from Love by Erica and she did you like that, basically like we didn't get in contact with you, you're asking about the book, and I'm saying she really not getting in contact with you. And all of a sudden, what it boils down to is like, she claiming you're getting a refund, but you're not getting it from her. You got to go to PayPal and get it. How would you feel? I, well, hey, if I'm a, I'm a, I'm a subscriber, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I'm a fool. I gave you my money. You know what I'm saying? And you got me like that? Hey, I just have to chalk it up. But I ain't going to be your subscriber. I'm not going to subscribe to your channel no more. I'm taking my subscription off. Okay, now what about if, now the other thing is she charged him $60. $60? For, hold on, to uh, to meet, to, for a meet and greet. Hold on, a book signing, but hold on. She was having a book signing at a bar, allegedly. But, hold on. There was a couple of people that actually called, allegedly. And basically the people were like, no, like this is a bar. There's never been no book signing. Like she allegedly lied in the first place. Like there was never nothing set up. But like she was advertising it like this. She was saying like, we're going to have all you can drink. You know what I'm saying? Drinks. And you know what I'm saying? Make sure you have a designated driver or, you know, a ride. She was, she when she was talking about the Atlanta tour, she was telling people, yeah, go ahead and call your boss right now. And tell him that you're going to be off on this day. Like, she was really playing into it. And allegedly, she's done this before. Like, where she got these little raffle tickets or whatever to have somebody meet her. And it never happens. But she gets all this money. Now, think about it. She tried to pull this thing, too, with the raffle. I don't know about, like, I don't think she ever got to pull it off this time with the dollar raffle. Telling people to pay a dollar and whoever the winner was was going to spend a day with her. Think about it. Okay. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, you said she's done this before, right? Allegedly. Allegedly. Okay. Now, if she uh, allegedly did this before. That's what I'm saying. You the fool. You the dummy. Don't point at me. Point out there. I'm, <laughs> I'm not saying you specifically. I know. Point that way, whoever it is. You the dummy. You the fool. I'm sorry for pointing my Don't point I'm at me. I'm sorry if she done, if she done this shit before, yeah, allegedly, allegedly, and you took this shit, mm -hmm. allegedly, that's your fault. You know what I'm saying? That's your fault because fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, oh please, y'all know how I go. You know exactly how I go. Uh uh, you not for the no. You you do that the first time, it's a chance you're gonna do it again. Period. And you got away with it. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly. Like but, like, for somebody to feel that comfortable to do something like that, that's, like, really big. Think about it. It's good. Yeah. Jolly Bees. Mugbang was one of our biggest mugbangs, you guys. Yeah, I know. People so love please, Jolly Bees. Mm -hmm. Let's run this up, y'all. Let's get it, like, 100 likes. Y'all couldn't even get us 100 likes on our prank, but that's all right. <laughs> that's all right, though. I remember that. Well, the, the, you know, the funny thing about it is, is that it, uh, the finances is really hard for everybody right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, pe people are having a hard time. That's why they need to get a job like we got one. I know. If you got a job, then you don't have to depend on no videos, period. Well, I'm I'm taking my, I'm, I'm talking about the people who actually subscribe to her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you sit over here telling these people all these things, allegedly, 
mm-hmm. and they sending their hard earned money to you. You know what I'm saying? Well, she she gotta do something because. Well, I know. I understand. She, she don't have no damn job. I know. She, I, she, like, I, I, you know what? I don't have no job, so I'm gonna sucker you. I'm gonna sucker you to get. Your and that's money. his opinion. That's your opinion. That's my opinion. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna sucker you to sending me money so I can build myself up. But I can. But I'm gonna you take down. from you and your kids off your table. But I'm gonna make an excuse to get an attitude because you want your money back. Ain't this, that some shit? I know. Yeah, I'm mad. You, you want your money back? Hell. You and then go have the nerve. This girl gonna have the nerve to sit there and say. And some of my supporters said they didn't even want their money back. What you bringing it up for? You want everybody to be like, "Well, I'll be like that. Yeah, we don't want our money back either." See, girl, some people bye. like that. They just feel like, "Hey, listen." I, I know I'm sorry I did you wrong, but I don't want you, you know, arguing with me about it. You know, sitting on her tongue. I want my money. I want my money back because I didn't get no book. She got I, mad. I, and she going to get all upset talking about, why are you sitting up here complaining about that? And then other people what? sitting up here saying like, oh, well, why, why is such and such upset? Because they didn't even get no books. Da, 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 da. And I ain't mad. And even when people were coming to me telling me about it, I just be like, oh, for real? I'd be like, that's crazy. I'd be like, see? I ain't even gonna bash the girl. Like, I wouldn't even bash her. I'll be like, that's crazy. I'll be like, you see how she is? I'll say something like that, you know what I mean? But, I'm. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. You like that rice, huh? Yeah, it's good. You want some more? Shut yeah, up, don't yeah. start. <laughs> no, I, won't, I don't even want you feeding me. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you just go wait till all in my car and everything. Come on, man. <laughs> She was trying to make that choo-choo sound, but it just couldn't, it didn't come out right. Before we end our video, we have to do our little toasty toast. Um, but anyway, so what is your conclusion? What is your thought and your conclusion, your opinion on the books? Do you think that people need to just chop it up and just let it go? Or do you think that... Uh, what else you going to do about it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean... Uh, do you think they should just take it as a lesson learned and just like be like, yeah, you, you know what? Yeah, you should have learned your lesson the first time. True. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on now. I mean, if, if if you if you come up to me and you slap me in my face and you walk away and then you turn around and come back and you stand right in my face, I'm uh, most likely I think you're going to do it again. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to slap me again, so I'm not going to be standing right there waiting for you to do it. Come on, let's do a toast real quick. I'm going to keep it in here because it's going to go crinkle. We're going to do a toast, you guys. We like to toast these. They're so... Okay. Okay. I mean, I swear, guys, we cannot go anywhere. Oh, you gonna let it go in the car? You I'm gonna... Oh, you gonna hit it hard? No. <laughs> One, two, three. Toasties. Okay. I don't think they even seen it. Oh my god. Dude, two, look at that. Looks good. One, two, three. To Toasties. Ow. Look, look good, huh? Mm. Mm. Oh! Ah! <gasps> Damn. Oh, you're so sweet. Anyways, guys, you just wanted an excuse. Excuse for what? <laughs> <laughs> excuse for what? I don't need no excuse. <laughs> That's cool. Just a shirt. Yeah. Well, yeah. You think like that if you want to. There's so many more important things in the world. There's people dying in the world. There's people in hospice waiting on low fire this book. I want my book. <laughs> Do you know that she said that there was people in hospice waiting on their book? In hospice? Somebody had like a couple of weeks to live and they want their last diet. Oh, come on now. No, I swear. No, I I put out everything. I'm not making it up. I swear. I'm going to show you the video. I'll tell you. She got people in hospice waiting for. <laughs> she said that she got pe people in hospice emailing her, to rushing her about the book, telling her that they want to read the book. They want the book to hurry up and come to her. Come to her. This is what she said. This is what AKA. Is that what she said allegedly? 
No, you no. Know, Love by Erica did say that. She said it. She came out and she said it. She said that there's people who does forty excuse she gave. She was like, there's people that are in hospice and they're emailing me, and they're telling me that the last thing they they want to do before they leave this earth is to read my book. I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't got nothing to say. That's crazy. Come on now. My my conscience will be messed up. She did. No, I'm just saying. I mean, come on now. You got people on hospice talking about emailing her before I pass away, before I leave this earth. I want to read your book. Mm -hmm. Come on now. <laughs> come on. He's speechless, huh? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. On that note, we really want to know y'all thought and opinion on Mr. Valentino's evaluation on the whole situation. It's crazy, man. We need to do more videos like this when we get your opinion. Yeah, but baby, that's like, crazy. You got people on their deathbed? Uh, don't tell me, tell her. No, I'm just saying, you got people on your deathbed. Something messing with me. You got people on your deathbed, on their deathbed, that's sitting up here talking about to you, telling you, mm -hmm. that before I leave this earth, before I go to the <laughs> man up there in the sky, that I want to read your book. Your and guess book. what our book's about? I forgot, like, the, but it's basically, like, about teaching people, like, basically the life, like, everything about life. Like, she knows she has everything in life figured out. And she's, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> that was, like, what the topic was, basically. I'm trying to think of the words that she said, because I can't really remember, but basically it was just, like, she basically had the concept of life. I think that's what she said, teaching people the concept of life or something like that. The concept of life? Yeah, basically, like, she had life figured out. She's got her shit on the up and up. She's got life figured out. No, oh, please. Come on. <laughs> There's people that's, like, 90 years old that don't even have their life figured out. Right. I mean, come on now. It's like, you just, you, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, like, seriously, though, I be thinking, like, what be going through these people's head? And, it, and it's really funny, too, because she get on here and she be like, like she said, y'all just be getting on here trying to get people to not supporting me and subscribing to me it's like no we be trying to like tell people like do you see that you know what i'm saying like do you see that car coming it's yeah. gonna hit you you know what i mean no like, people people have people are yeah, they, they, they not slow you know people can hear they can see yeah. they have they, they know what's going on yeah and like you know what i'm saying like everybody i'm like i've been scammed before and i don't want to see nobody else be scammed you know what i'm no, saying that's crazy. i hate that like i don't like it when people lie i don't like it when people scam Oh, yeah, and not just that. I, I think I told you she... Oh, Jesus, I don't think... Did I tell you that Steve Harvey helped her pick out her wedding cake? <laughs> almost had... <laughs> Something almost came out of my mouth when you said that. Mm -hmm. Steve Harvey. And then she's getting married with no groom. She went to go do a, ta a wedding, a, a cake tasting. A cake testing taste. Mm -hmm. And she did, like, a... a um, wedding dresses, but she didn't have a groom. She even had like all her kids with tugs on. Try them on. <laughs> so she's not actually marrying a man. I don't think so. I don't know what she's marrying, but I don't think it's a man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, she ain't marrying nobody. She stopped that. Like in the middle of her just planning this whole lavish thing, she just stopped. So, After so, she came out and said this stuff about the tour, like she didn't do nothing else about this wedding stuff. She was trying to distract people. Making them think like she get married or something. I don't know. Girl's weird. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Yeah. Part two of our video. If you did not go see the other video, part one, make sure you go check it out. We were discussing Mr. and Mrs. Law Truth. He, my husband had his own opinion. I had my opinion. And if you hadn't checked it out, make sure you go check out that video because it's really, really interesting. All right now, yeah. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and end the video. As you can tell, look at my eyes. I am already food coma. <laughs> She's already tired, y'all. Food tired. coma.
Anyway, y'all. Hey, Jolly Bees, man. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Where all that? Go, go to Jolly Bees, man. Get the food. This is good. I'm telling you. Anyways, y'all, thank you for watching. That's right. Thank you. Until next time, peace out. Peace. It's got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I'm gonna feed them